Welcome back, everyone, to the Emerald Isles modded Minecraft survival. The helmet looks really weird with that, by the way. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, last time we took on the Urgast and the surrounding ghost knights, um, and we were successful. We killed them, and we got the trophies. It's currently raining. Um, but this is our last episode in the twilight, because we are now finished with every boss. Uh, we'll check the map here real quick. As you can see, we've cleared pretty much everything except for this. Uh, you see the area down here in the left corner? This is all, like, um, unfinished in the mod. It, it was never, like, properly done. Um, it, there's supposed to be a castle at the end where you take on uh, the end boss or something, but it's not finished. So for now, um, we just took on all these bosses, basically, and we beat all of them. We beat the Lich, we beat the Naga, uh, we beat the Yeti, we beat the Snow Queen, we beat the Hydra, we beat the Minotaur, and we beat the Ghost Knights and the Urgas. So, we also did the questing realm up here as well. So, we've done pretty much everything we can do uh, in the Twilight, so we are now done. We're going to head back home and uh, get all of our loot and stuff in order. Um, so, I'm going to slowly start bringing all this stuff over, over um, when, off camera over the next episode or two. Um, but for now, we're going to just take the essentials, I would say. So, we'll take the Ender Pearls because we can now finally make our elevator uh, to the mine shaft because we have Ender Pearls to make it. So that's very, very good. And I do also want to make an enchanting plus table so we can finally use all our levels. Um, and yeah, good stuff like that. So I'm going to grab some stuff and head back to the base. And now we say goodbye to the Twilight Forest. It's kind of a shame it's raining, but still, it's fine. Um, yeah, so this is probably the last full episode uh, in this dimension. So farewell. And we are back home. What is hitting me? Oh my god, there's something invisible hitting me. Oh my god, it's the, I bet it's the wolves. It's the stupid wolves from the twilight, but they're invisible. I Oh no, that's bad. That's really bad. They're bugged. They're actually bugged. Oh, that's terrible. Um, I don't like that. How? Oh no. That's really bad, actually. I can't hit them. How can I kill them? Um, I would need a lava bucket or something. But I don't think I have any lava, do I? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. I do indeed. Okay. Let's see. I want to bait them over here, maybe. Ow. Okay, so right in front of me. There we go. Got him. Nailed it, boys. We nailed it. Uh, please don't spread to the chest, though. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So, yeah. We got a bit of a bug there. An invisible wolf that I couldn't hit, which is always fun. Um, but we got him. We're good. Okay. <clears throat> so, we got all our loot from the toilet. Well, not all of it. There's still a lot back there. I'll start moving it over the next episode or two. Um, but for now... We are pretty much good with stuff here, so I'm gonna um, to make more chests. We're ooh, a lot of space. We need a lot of space. Um, make a few of these. So basically, what I want to do today is I want to just kind of get things organized because uh, we haven't been back here in quite a while, obviously. Um, so I want to make the elevator finally, and I want to make the uh, enchanting plus table. So is this empty? Oh, this is actually empty. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, right. Let's throw some stuff in here anyway for a start. Okay, so we need wool. We need wool for the elevator, right? Elevator. Uh, yeah, any color wool and the ender pearl. Right, perfect. So I should have wool upstairs, I would imagine. Um, if I don't, I'll be very disappointed, but hey, we'll see. And I forgot how long it was to climb all these stairs. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to climb up this stupid ladder. And we're going to make an elevator. I don't know how far the elevator will actually go. Because there might be a limit to how far up or down you can go with the elevator. So I might put in a couple of elevators. And I don't know if I have enough enterprise for that. Um, I'm hoping I do. But if the limit is like 64 blocks, then I will need to make about 2 or 3 of them. Um... But if it's if it's infinite, if it can go from like the highest point you want to the lowest point you want, that would be perfect. Because uh, then I could just make two, and it'll be, be be fine. Oh yeah, I forgot we had cobalt in here. That's really cool. Uh, we can make some really good tools out of that because we got it from the Nether last time, right? <clears throat> Sweet. Okay, I'm gonna put some levels in here. This is gonna fill up, I think. Actually, maybe. Oh, this will definitely fill up. Yeah. Oh my god. There, there's no space left in this thing. Yeah, max capacity. Wow. Um, I need to make more uh, tanks then, if that's the case. So, um, I need wool. I need wool. Yes, I do have wool. Perfect. Okay, let's make some elevators anyway. Uh, there we go. There's two elevators. I don't know how far up I can use them, though. I don't know how far up. Um, hopefully, it's very far, but I'm not sure. I'll try put one here. Um, yes, yeah, put one there. And I'm going to have to break this for a second. Uh, just to get down. Okay. 
and then we'll go right down to the bottom. It's faster going down for some reason. I don't know. Some mod adds the like faster going down in a ladder thing. So I also have water at the bottom. I forgot about that. I'm go back down here. And if I place the elevator here, hopefully... Oh, perfect. Yes. Okay, that's so good. That is so good. And I can break all these with the uh, axe. Nice. Oh, I, I didn't break all of them, but that's fine. Um, what do I, yeah, I'll just I'll go back up and get the I'll get the rest of the ladders. Break this, cool, and one more. Oh my god, I must hit the top of that because if I hit the top, like the top of the ladder counts as a block. So if I hit that, I'm dead. Okay, nice. Oh my god. Okay, that. Oh, that was that was kind of I didn't expect that to happen. Um I thought I hit the water, but that's fine. Okay. Um right, we need more chests. We need a lot more chests and good storage systems because this is bad. There's a lot of stuff to left to store and I don't have enough space for it all. So, um how's my is my stuff growing actually? Cuz I think this is winter at the moment. Wait, can I check if it's winter? Um does it say the season it is? It doesn't say the season it is. There's no way to tell. So, I'm assuming it's winter at the moment because it's snowing up here, that would make sense. Um, and that's probably why these crops aren't growing, which I don't really like. But it's whatever. <clears throat> Some maize wafers, nice. Alright. There's always one creeper beside the wall of names, man. I swear. I swear. There we go. Speaking of the Wall of Names, I didn't do the Book of Names for today. Um, where is the Book of This is the Book of Names. Okay, sweet. I will do this episode, um, and then I'll have all the names up for the next episode. So this is the last episode in the Book of Names, and the rest will be on the Wall of Names. Um, so for today's episode, we have Storm's Eye, who says, Hey, mate, good job on your vids. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, and welcome to the Wall of Names. So we got Storm's Eye. Welcome, enjoy your stay. Right, so, um, in one of the previous episodes, I tried to make something called a Magnum Torch, uh, but I didn't have the mod installed. I installed a mod. It's not the same mod, but it, it does the same thing, I think. Um, it basically adds these torches that can... Yeah, these things. Um, they light the area around, like, for a good while, and they also stop mobs from spawning. So, um, let's see. How hard is this to make? Two blocks of gold, two logs... Three torches and two diamonds. That's not that expensive. That's not that expensive at all. Um, I don't know if it'll do what I want it to do, though. Because there's a couple in that mod. Um, there's, like, a lantern as well, I think. Lantern. Um, is it this? No, this one, yeah. Flare lantern. Slowly illuminates a large area. Removing the lantern causes the light to slowly decay. I see. Um... <clears throat> So, um, I do want to make this bigger as well. Oh, there's so much to do. Okay, uh, I'm going to make the glass tanks first, so... Actually, no, I will make the enchanting table first. Yes, that's a good idea, I think. If I have an enchantment table already, I can just combine that. But I might have to make one. Alright, let's make our enchantment table. Uh, this is what I need for the... Advanced one, right? Advanced... There we go. Yeah, it's enchantment table. Four gold ingots, one eye of ender, two obsidian, and a book and quill. Okay. Right. So now we need the uh, gold ingots. Wait, we need the gold ingots. We need the obsidian we have. Um, book and quill and eye of ender. I can make an eye of ender, actually. Oh, do I have another ender pearl? I don't think I do. Maybe I do some... Oh, I do. I have one in a problem. Nice. Okay. Um, right. So I'm going to quickly make that Eye of Ender. And I need the gold ingots, um, which I think I have down in the smeltery, maybe. Hopefully. Now we need two obsidian. Um, no obsidian, really? I could have sworn I had obsidian. Oh, there's some here. Yeah. Perfect. Grab that. Okay. Cool. Um... I have Ender Book and Quill. I can't really use this Book and Quill because it has my quests and stuff in it, so I can't use that. Um, do I have... I can get another book from here anyway. Now I need an Ink Sack and I need a Feather. Um, nope. 
Nope. Um, nope. Mm, no, I can use, can I use the Raven Feather? Can I use this in, no. Uh, no. Okay, are we actually stuck here? Um, I need an Ink Sack, so there might be an Ink Sack in here. I also need the Feather, I think there could be a Feather in here as well, actually. There's a Feather here, and an Ink Sack. Oh, I knew it, I knew it. Okay, perfect. Let's make ourselves a Book and Quilt. There we go. And now we're good to make our enchanting plus table. So the recipe is uh, this on either side. And then, oh, it's four gold ingots. Okay, I'm glad I brought the whole lot then. I only picked two out. Book and quill and the eye of ender. Boom, there we go. Advanced enchantment table. Sweet, okay. Now we can use all our levels, finally. So I don't know if I have to have this in... Um, a bookshelf area, or can it just be anywhere? Let's see. Can I just put any iron wall? What's iron wall? Never heard of it. Okay, I'll put that back. Um. Okay, I'm going to put... Can I use my uh, pickaxe? I can enchant this. I, I didn't know I could enchant this. I can enchant it with them breaking. Does it work with them breaking? I can't move it back. Why? That's weird. Costs 180 levels. Is that what it says? Is this 225 levels? Wait, what? There's no way. I'm assuming it doesn't cost 225 levels. Wait, there's no way it costs that much. Oh, this is how much XP I have, and that's how much it costs. So it doesn't do it in levels. It does it. It does it in actual like XP orbs. Okay. Um, still sharpness five for only for less than fourteen levels is so good. That's so so good. Okay, uh, we can at least enchant our stuff now, which is great. So I can I can put on breaking on this. Eight hundred and ten levels. Or uh, XP. That's mad. That's actually mad. Okay. That's... Alright, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, so, I don't think we need books at all for this, then. Okay, that's that That works. That definitely works. Okay. Um, I just need to find somewhere to store all my stuff, because there's so much. There's so much stuff. Okay, very good news, actually. Very, very good news. Um, so, I was quickly uh, mining in a straight direction uh, from the base. From this thing, I was mining straight along here. Uh, obviously, we had these diamonds. We found these diamonds before. Um, I'm just keeping them there, keeping them there. So when I get a looting uh, pickaxe, I can just or no, a fortune pickaxe, I can just uh, mine them and get more. Um, but basically, I was mining in this direction, and I came across a lava reservoir. And lava is exactly what we need right now to fuel our smeltery and to make obsidian to repair our pickaxe and other tools probably, because uh, we're going to make more obsidian tools, I would say, because they're really, really good. So yeah, this is very good to have. And this water is super annoying. Um, but I think I need water, actually, do I? No, I'll make I'll make an infinite uh, water source um, in the thingy, just so we have it. Because I think I don't have one yet, if that makes sense. Okay, we're going to just, yeah, right here. Right here. Okay, bucket there. Um, I'll just grab this water. It's fine. Wait, that didn't make an infinite one? There we go. Okay, sweet. Put that back there. Nice. Um, okay, so basically I was trying to get things organized and oh my god, I have too much stuff. I have way too much stuff at the moment. Like I just cannot keep it all, keep it all organized. Um, so I'll, I'll need to just like make a bunch of iron chests probably and then just get item frames. Item frames are, is it string or is it leather? I think it's leather. Or no, it's, it is string I think. Wait, item... Um, it's leather. Oh god, of course it's leather. Iguana leather, interesting. What are these ones? White item frame. Oh, you can put... Oh, that's really cool. You can put a die with your item frame and then get a different... Oh, that's so cool. I might do that, actually. I'm going to make a white one. Um, But I do need leather. I don't think I have any leather here. But I think I do in the toilet, maybe. So I'm going to go there real quick and uh, grab the stuff. So the toilet did have the leather, which I thought it did, which is very good. We have 12 leather now, so we can make 12 item frames. Um, I'm going to quickly grab a lava bucket 
and I remembered something that was in my backpack, which is the anvils that I collected from the um, the ghost guys um, labyrinth thingy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the smeltery with the lava buckets, and I have the anvil in my backpack. The anvils in my backpack, um, and we're going to throw the. I think this works. We can throw the anvils in here, and it'll smelt the anvils. That's really good. That's really good. Um, it's going to top up the fuel. Here we go. Um, I will also need to make more smeltery bricks because this isn't very big, obviously. Um, so I will do that too. Uh, I have one here. So I'm just going to plop that on. There we go. Um, and I might have to put, might have to take the anvils out. I'm going to put the cobblestone here so I can make more, um, more seared stone, though. Because I don't think the iron will actually... Capacity is 144 ingots. And this is like, this is way more than 144 anyway. This is um, 36, 36. Uh, this is about 150 or 100, it's 170 something, I think. So this is going to max out um, if I smelt the anvils. So I'm hoping the stone smells faster so I can take that out and then um, put more uh, bricks on the smeltery so it doesn't uh, overflow because I don't I don't want to lose ingots and stuff okay so I'm, I'm hoping the cobblestone will smell fast so I can just grab that and place it down on this thingy okay um bad news <laughs> um, it didn't work as I wanted it to so uh, I did smell the stone and it smelted faster but um it it didn't it doesn't work the way I thought it would. So um, when you smelt cobblestone, it counts as one ingot of this. I think I thought it would count as a block. One cobblestone counts as an ingot of seared stone. So I only got like two blocks from all of that, um, which means I have to smelt more stone. And then I can uh, I can place more because I'm missing I'm missing one block as you can see. So I have to wait for this to cool, and I'll take it out and put it down here. And then I need to make one more, and then I'll have more capacity. Um, so I only have three ingots right now, so let's smelt more cobblestone. Um, and then I should be able to, I should be able to, I should be able to, uh, place down the stone. Okay, we have three blocks of seared stone now, so we can just plop it into here. And then we can place the last one on, and then we should be able to get the rest of our iron as well. Um, because as you can see, there's a lot in here right now. 11 blocks worth, um, which is quite a bit, clearly. So, yeah, that's very good. Um, so, yeah. That should have more. Yes, perfect. Okay, we have 18 blocks of iron in here now. Holy crap. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to take out maybe two or three blocks, uh, just so we have some more space for other stuff. Um, and yeah. So I decided to do something kind of cool, um, because we have a lot of stuff from the toilet, obviously. A lot of trophies and things. I thought that it would be a nice idea to have like a little toilet area, because we probably won't be going back there anyway. We'll just have a little toilet corner over here anyway. Uh, just to have uh, all the trophies and stuff collected in one place and just to make it kind of look look nice around the portal and stuff. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to hollow out this area and kind of decorate it a little bit. And then, um, yeah. Okay, so I've collected all of our uh, Twilight Forest things. Um, I just thought it would be a nice idea to have the Firefly Jar as kind of the light source for here because it did serve us very well when we were going through the Twilight. It was our light source for everything, literally everything. Um, so this is kind of the thing I went for, like just a little tiny setup. It looks, it looks okay, I think. Um, and most of our stuff is in here. I'm going to throw some other things in here. We've got our fiery tears, fiery blood, the uh, meat stroganoff, all the the memo memoir thingies um, from our adventures in the twilight. Let's just throw that back in. Um, the arctic fur. Uh, get some more armor and stuff too. I'll make a bigger chest uh, eventually, but I'll just put the trophies in my heart bar all lined up for now. And oh my god, it looks amazing. Look at this. All the trophies. All the trophies. Um, so we're going to go in order, uh, bottom to top of both of these. So first we slayed the Naga, then we slayed the Lich. I think I'm saying that wrong, but anyway, it's fine. And then after the Lich, we went to the Snow Queen, but first we had to kill the Elf. There's no trophy for the Yeti, um, so that's we'll just go with the Queen next. Um, and then after the Queen, we went for the um, Minotaur, or the Minishroom. And then we got the Hydra. And then we went for the Night Phantom. Uh, actually, we got the, the questing ram somewhere in between there, but it's fine. Um, and then we went for Dargast. Yeah, perfect. So I'm just going to lay them out properly uh, so it doesn't look ugly. But for now, that'll do, I think. Um, and I'm also going to make a bigger chest for the 
Uh, I might just take this one, actually. Yeah, I wouldn't take this chest. For all the uh, Twilight Forest stuff. Just to make it all, like, look a bit nicer. Um, let's throw these in here. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. There's a few more things in the Twilight. It's just armor and stuff. Um, I'll eventually bring them over, but for now, this will do, I think. So we got all our Twilight stuff collected in this chest. Um, and the rest of it will go up on the walls over here. So, yeah. Um, I know this was kind of a boring episode, it was just me kind of getting organized and uh, making an enchantment table and the elevator and getting the twilight stuff together from our adventures, but uh, next one should be a bit more exciting. We're probably going to go to the Aether in the next dimension, or in the next uh, episode, uh, because that's the next dimension on the list. Um, and we still have to go to the Nether at some point, but the Nether is terrifying in this mod pack, like ridiculously scary. Um, but for now, that'll do it for this one. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And um, if you want to be featured on the Wall of Names, just make sure to leave a comment on uh, this video or any video in the playlist, and I'll have a chance to see it. And if, my, if, I, if I see your comment, you can get put on the Wall of Names. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.